episode 11 sees us on our third day in Hoi An. We take a morning trip on some basket boats. We then head into Hoi An to show you around the old town and we get our clothes from the tailors. Good morning from beautiful Hoi An. So today we are heading out on a boat trip. We're going to a little village, I don't know what the village is called, <laughs> where all the fishermen are. Mm -hmm. They give you a bit of a history about what obviously what they do, how they work and stuff. I think you get to like do a little bit and help them kind of thing. Fishing. Fishing. Um, and then you get to go on the coconut boat, are they called? Yeah. Yeah, they get to go in them. And I think you get to do, do a race or something as well. <laughs> Like and then little, they get a bit of food. It's like a little basket thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a basket. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it looks like a coconut. Yeah, it's like half a coconut half type coconut, thing. Well, yeah. I hope it's bigger than a coconut because yeah. it's not going to fit so, up. Yeah, that's three hours, I think. Yeah, you get picked up. We'll also be picking up what Jack gets in dress today, and then we're not sure what's going to happen after that. But that's going to be today's video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and feel free to leave any comments. But we're just going to head for breakfast. We're getting picked up at nine and it's half past eight now. So let's get downstairs. Breakfast today consists of? Um, so I went with an omelette. Omelette. And we got bread. And we got bread actually. A banh um, Yeah. A banh mi, yes. And we got a selection of fruit, which is really nice. And Jamie went for a scrambled egg. Also a banh mi. And we did order some orange juices as well. Good And um, we're just waiting for them. So I think it's tomato and onion yeah. and it's um it's tasty. Good. Yeah, good. But we'll fill a nice little bowl, is it? It only took about five or ten minutes away, it's not too bad. So we're just going to get our boat now. I'm happy. Boat's tilting up that. You got your hat. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your, uh, it's got foil in it. Oh, Look like yeah. one of them space cadets. Be <laughs> 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 a tin foil hat. <laughs> okay. Bảo bà đi, bà đi có thông mày. Bà đi có thông mày. <laughs> this hat. <laughs> Just left. I think this trip takes about was it like four hours. Sally. <laughs> I think this trip takes about four hours. It's a three, three, hour it's a three, day. three and a half, four hours. <laughs> Just a half day thing. Just thought it would be a nice little, gentle stroll through the streams. Obviously, get to find out how the fishing things like that. So you might get a chance to to actually do that yourself. I think there's a bit of food involved. A little bit later. Uh, so let's see how this trip goes <laughs> with your tin foil hat on. Nice. <laughs>
How's that trip? Yeah, it's good. Thank you. Quite soothing. It is. So these are More coconuts in here. Exactly. Growing on the palms. Coconut there. Okay. Hope that's not going to be our boat. <laughs> so what's he doing here, Jackie? Looking to see if there's any crabs. Gonna go fishing. How does it feel now you've caught crabs? <laughs> He's quite strong. Scotland around. Oh yeah, it's at the top now. Oh, 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 <laughs> uh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, dip, dip. Yeah. So yeah, just been catching crabs. It was good. Um, good yeah. yeah, just hunting around all these little kind of like creeks, like within the palms, and they all just like come out. Like I don't know if it's like crab meat or something. Bait them, and just pinch onto it, and you just pull them out. Although Jackie had more success than me, because <laughs> they just kept nipping it and just running back in. No, it's been good so far. It's actually just quite calming, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's yeah, good. Yeah, it's good. More coconuts. Many beers. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And just like that, he's off. Bye. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. So how was your little basket ride? That was good. I yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah. That was good fun. <laughs> it didn't last too long, actually. It was only what? 
About one hour maybe, just over an hour. Ah, uh, yeah. But no, it was good, it was something different. So I think we're going on to our next spot now. I don't know what it is. So it's like a magical mystery tour. Yeah. Crouched right down in here. You crouched. Or should, should. <laughs> crouched. A tin of sardines. Like sardines. Isn't it? It looks like wearing the boot. <laughs> boot with seats. Uh, I just I just drove before saying I'd be in the boot. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope we don't go over any bumps, otherwise I'm gonna smack the head. Okay, so we've stopped. Looks like there's a bit of a cooking course going on. So it looks like we'll stop for somewhere to eat and drink. So let's see what the food's like here. Try a little, I'm so full of the breakfast. Hello. Oh, have a little bit. So what we've got Jack is it? Chicken. It's probably there cooking for <laughs> <laughs> How is it? Mm, got a lot of taste there. Right. I think it's like a salad. Yeah, I said yeah. it was a salad. Yeah. Yeah. Now we've got some spring rolls and what looks like one of the looks, looks like, like an omelet kind of thing. Well, it's probably it's one of the like rice paper. Yeah. Okay. This would be nice if I was hungry. I know. Oh. What's in there? It's just vegetables. Mm. I think I maybe pork or chicken. <laughs> pork or chicken. <laughs> oh yeah. Good though. So there is another trip you can do that includes the cooking so they must bring you to the same place. Ours has only been just a half day but what it's 20 past 11 now so I think that's the end of the trip which to be fair has been a little bit disappointing. It's good on the boats and stuff but Jackie was just saying that I think they're meant to do some like racing and all that kind of stuff which we haven't done but never mind I suppose it gives us a little bit of time back we might be able to get into Hoi An and have a look around because we haven't really had a chance yet what did you think of that? it was good I enjoyed it it was a bit disappointing I was because they didn't they're supposed to be able to um, have a go paddling and they must do like a boat like a race thing race thing that the guys and then obviously the you get to have a chance chance we didn't do any of that and then yeah food's supposed to be about 11 ish and it was about 20 past 10 but we obviously just had our breakfast at nine o'clock ish so yeah it didn't, like none of our table and the food was actually all right as it well was, that the food was nice. just um just a shame that we'd eaten <laughs> only an hour and a half before <laughs> I'm so, I'm really and typically i'm starting to get hungry now because well, <laughs> we had like it was like a chicken salad -y type thing to start with and then they come out with the spring rolls and like the um, the rice paper pancake thing. And then they came out with like a curry, which I think might have been a fish curry. Which I mean, I probably wouldn't have eaten anyway because um. I don't like it. No, it was, it was all right. It's like obviously filled the morning in. Something a little bit different anyway. But we're going to get the bikes now and we're going to head back into town. We are back in the old town, but first we're going to stop for a, a drink because it's absolutely cooking today before we look around. So according to Google, this is an ornate place of worship built for 17th century Chinese residents and dedicated to a sea goddess. So this is right in the old town, just up from where we parked the bikes. It's really, really peaceful in here. We've just seen it was right next to the little coffee shop we've just been in, so we thought we'd have a quick look around. So this has been here for years, hundreds of years. It's obviously what it used to look like because it's well yeah because that's the junction there isn't it? I don't know what that plastic 
Uh, this must have been what Hoi An Old Town used to look like back in the day. It's like an old, really old fort of that. So old it's like, um, it's deteriorating, yeah. No, it hasn't got the airs on, has it? It looks like they've faded away on faded. the... Faded. Yeah, so you can't actually see what the, the dates are. But obviously the buildings look newer on those, so... Obviously from years gone by. So here you can see the how it's dedicated to the sea goddess. I'm taking it this is the sea goddess that's being worshipped here. And then obviously there's a boat for sea purposes. A small donation into the box for the sea goddess. You can get some coat to go that vodka. <laughs> and a peanut uh, biscuits. <laughs> Okay, so just walking through the streets you can really see the buildings just look really old and rustic but they've got like a they've just got a nice charm about them which is what gives Hoyan its character and it's just a lovely little town well this is the old town there's an ancient town as well which we haven't even seen and we might not even get to see that because well you've got to pay to get in there I don't think it's too much maybe it's about five US dollars but we'll probably haven't got time yet yeah, because we've obviously got to go and see the tailor. But we'll continue looking around because we're kind of walking up towards where our tailor is. Can't wait to wear a leather jacket in this. There's just a load of little shops selling t-shirts. There's a lot of tailors around here. Places to get a drink. But it's just this lovely, lovely atmosphere about the place. Even though it's like quite busy. I don't know, it's just a different feel here to anywhere else we've been so far in Vietnam. And it's just a really, really nice place to be. Nice place to wander around. Not so much today when it's so hot. But it's nice, all the lanterns. And it's, like I say, it's just nice to get a different perspective through the day. So you can actually get to see what the buildings really look like. But yeah, it's, it's a really nice little charming town. So it's the, this is the Fat Boa Pagoda. It's a unique work with the characteristics of the style of the ancient houses. And it's got snails of the northern no, sector. This is a place to travel to the soul, sightsee more. Then that doesn't really give you much more. Jackie's Pottery Corner in full flow. <laughs> it's actually, it's actually quite, quite hard to find much information on this temple. It's got characteristics of some northern sect. And from what we gather, it's it's to do with travel, to travel more and sightsee. But we've just seen this on my way up to Kimmy's, we thought we'll visit on the way past. There's another one just down here, which is a temple of three gates. The temple has been built with two-storey architecture, nice decoration to every detail. The architect bears the style of the ancient um, houses in Haiyan. The main hall is this... Solemnly decorated. In the middle of the religious images. Ah, so the pagoda also worships Tien, Tien, evil, oh, Tien, evil, evil and Dharma protectors. Zen okay. master Min Ho Papo was one of the first Chinese Zen teachers to bring Lam Tem Zen to um, Kok Nam. In the age of 34 generations later, become a separate bunch of godly blessings. So all it is are just littered around the old town. There's, there's, there's loads of little temples and stuff to visit. And then of course you've got the Japanese Pagoda Bridge and then you've got the uh, Anhoi Bridge as well just down by the river. So we've just been wondering what this is all about at the front. So apparently this is Buddha's birthday which is the 8th day of the 4th 
Chinese lunar calendar. It's a mouthful to get through. So what happens here on the eighth day of must be April, during the full moon, the chief Buddha monk who lives here will give a speech in this park here. And what he also does is offer food and drink to the children and the needy. So that's what happens here. The three entrance gate leads to the old temple complex built in 1626 and known as the Bamu Temple, though the locals have dubbed it Mid Fife Temple. The gates lead to a large ground and two worshipping areas for the complex dedicated to a god protector, a goddess who gives wealth and secures safe life to newborns guarding against evil. So this is the Japanese Pagoda Bridge behind. So this is one of the most famous parts of Hoi An. But unfortunately at the minute there must be strengthening the bridge. So you can see the workmen behind there so we can't really get a good shot. If I get the chance I'll try and get me drawn up and get a, try and get a decent perspective of it. We're just going to pop along the river and have a little drink because it's, it's lovely. Got a nice breeze here. The town's lovely. You see, it's, it's, it is a proper tourist trap and it's full of tourists and you get hassle but I love it, it's really nice. So you get all the hassle off the massage ladies, people trying to buy these. They're not as too bad it's like actually. The, the pop-up origami stuff. Yeah, yeah, they're the worst. Yeah, there's loads of them. They're selling you flashy bunny ears. <laughs> I mean, come on. That's the problem with tourism, isn't it? It's You get these kind of things, all the sellers. And especially in Asia, there just seems to be loads of them. So no matter what corner you turn, there's somebody there. But it's lovely down here, like I say, we're getting a different perspective of it through the day. We just had to walk through some of the streets, seeing some of the temples. So we'll stop and get a drink, and then we'll have to go back to the tailors. So this guy's just chucked one of his birds into the river. <laughs> so he's, uh, oh, there's a real bird. I think he's just got a real bird. So yeah, he's just through, you can see these like um, plastic bird things. You throw them and they like fly like birds and it just flew into the river and then some head bird. Forest bin. Bean forest, but yeah, I think we need it there. Well, I think we'll have it, yeah. So there's a result of all your lanterns you put on the river. Embedded within, embedded the within the mud, the river bed. The river bed will be get higher. It will, yeah. yeah. Uh, two huda. Jack, you on a little chair, look. So we're back in Kimmy's and I don't envy the woman who's got to help Jackie with his dress because it's so hot out there man. Oh I'm sweating. So it's nice and air-conned in here. But by God. There she is. Sweaty Betty. Sweaty Betty. Hell's <laughs> teeth. I'm not even melted away. It's nice to get in here though isn't it? Hot up here. Okay. How about that aircon? Yeah. My colour, huh? It looks nice. 
Đấy. Look a symbol, but no, yeah, no, it's it's yeah. you can wear for every time. That's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you think it needs any adjustments? Or? Uh, I don't know. Something. I think. Maybe. Let me see. I think just smaller here, a little bit, but not much. Yeah. Not much here. See, just yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit here, yeah, not much. A little bit. A little bit like that. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I do about the same. This side, this side, all the same. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, really nice. Single, very nice. Good plane too. Yeah, yes, but long, not too short. Yeah, no, I think that's funny, yeah. Yeah. And you see, I don't look like it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Happy. Happy. Yes. Happy. See you the second time. Try again. Yes. So, are you happy? Happy with your dress? Uh, yes. Yeah. It's nice. It's, it's nice, nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's all right. We've got it nearly spot on first time. Uh, yeah, it's only a couple of little bits on the side. Yeah. It's a bit loose. So, get those adjusted and should be good to go. You can wear it out tonight. Let's go and get my jacket fitted. See how this goes. For the card and with oh, oh, food for the yeah. car, yeah. 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 What color you like for you um, too? You can get two. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, dark brown, light brown. I can I'll, I'll have a black. Have a black. I'll go with black, yeah. yeah. It goes with my coat. Yeah. I'll have a pink box. Yeah. Here. Thank you. Um, thank you. Oh, I'll have that one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you very much. So oh, thank you, you thank you, and uh, good luck today and tomorrow. Yes. Thank you. So cats. Cat. Leather shop. Leather shop. Yeah. Yeah, making for the customer in yeah. Hoi An. If you have for friend or family, you can recommend help me. Yes. Yeah, because I make for the leather jacket and with the shoes, some customer help me. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks thank for everything. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, bye bye. 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 Yeah, that's much better. Yeah. Yeah, big Yeah. 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 Kimmy's Kimmy bag. bag and my dress, I was going to say. Which you'll be wearing tonight. <laughs> Too hot. Right, let's go back. Uh, yes, let's go find the bikes. So we rode back to our apartments at the island town villa and Jackie's stomach started playing up again so she went and had a lie down. I took a few moments to sit on the balcony with a beer and watch the storm. We did actually go out for something to eat but again Jackie just wasn't feeling right so we ended up at another pharmacy, we ended up going back because we were planning to travel the next day. However things didn't quite go to plan on that either but you shall see that in the next episode. Good morning everyone, so today we're still in Hoi An and we've had quite an interesting morning. We were originally planning to go to the Charm Islands and she says, oh, the ferries are cancelled today because it's a bit cloudy and windy. 